Are you tired of overusing the word very? It's a common crutch in English, but today, let's dive into richer alternatives to express ourselves more vividly. Imagine describing someone as very happy. Instead, why not say they're ecstatic? This single word packs a punch and conveys a deeper emotion. When you're extremely tired, saying I'm exhausted paints a clearer picture. It shows that you're beyond just needing a nap. You're utterly drained. Think about the last time you were very hungry. Wouldn't famished describe that gnawing in your stomach with more precision? It's evocative and specific. Describing something as very beautiful might seem adequate. However, calling it breathtaking brings the listener into the moment, helping them visualize the scene. If you've ever experienced being very scared, consider the word terrified. It goes a step further, illustrating a higher level of fear and urgency. For those moments when you find something very funny, chuckling that you're amused sounds polite. But admitting you found it hilarious? That's the real deal. When you're very angry, it might be more impactful to say you're furious. This word conveys a stronger, more passionate response to whatever irked you. If a book was very interesting, suggesting it was fascinating, gives credit to its ability to capture and hold your attention relentlessly. Describing a friend as very smart is kind, but labeling them brilliant shines a spotlight on their exceptional intelligence and wit. For weather that's very hot, sweltering accurately depicts that overwhelming heat that makes you seek shade immediately. It's evocative and precise. Lastly, instead of saying you're very sad, sharing that you're heartbroken offers a glimpse into the depth of your sorrow. It's raw and authentic. By adopting these alternatives, you not only enrich your vocabulary, but also offer your listeners a vivid, engaging experience. Let's make our conversations colorful and precise. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this.